pretend that we have an opponent who's trying to really come in and wants to clinch us up, right? So Carson's coming in, he's trying to clinch us up, right? And we're going to play the game of I don't want to be clinched. Alright? So we're going to work on a couple, on one option of you don't get to clinch me, and then we're going to work a couple quick escapes out of the clinch. So not allowing him to secure, saying, hey, we're out of here, stop that. So, first one, Carson comes in to clinch me. Obviously, when a guy's coming in real hard and trying to clinch, it's pretty easy to read most of the time. So, when Carson starts to come in, all we're going to do is I'm going to look to hit that holy jab that we've worked on before. Bop. Looking to hit a punch, bop, and I'm looking to tuck my chin behind my shoulder and keep it extended. Now, because Carson's open stance here, all I'm going to do Step out to my outside, here, uppercut, out. Carson tries to come in, holy jab, step, uppercut, out. You hit that uppercut, dig him up, exit. The goal here is as he's reaching, I meet him, step off at that angle, uppercut, exit away. Now, Carson's orthodox, like a normal fucking person. Same thing, he goes to reach out, boom. I hit that. I step out, uppercut, exit. Doesn't matter which side he is, you're just stepping to the open side. Bop. Over, uppercut, out. Because he's trying to grab. He's not trying to, most of the time they're not trying to hit. So he's trying to grab with that. And exit. Does that make sense? Because their goal is to clinch you up. Boom. He's trying to grab you up. So our goal is to maintain our distance before he gets to securing that clinch. Touching him and exiting out so that I don't have to, if I don't want to play the clinch game, I don't have to accept that. That's not a mutually agreed upon part of this fight. We don't, I don't have to say, yeah, well, let's go ahead, Carson, like, oh. yeah, yeah, right? Like, that's not, I don't have to be there. So if he goes to go there, bop, bop, out. That's no, thank you. No suit for you, right? That's the goal. Questions on that? Step over, boom, uppercut, out. Know what it's from? One, two, three. So I'm here. Rel goes to clinch me, and I'm just that half a step late. I can't stop him with that jab, right? So boom, he goes to clinch me, clinch me. All we're gonna do as he's trying to really tighten up his clinch here, all we're gonna do is pull that head to the side. I'm gonna pop his elbow and duck under his armpit. Here, here. Realize my head does not change elevations. Hi. Does that make sense? So I do not look down. My head stays looking up. It just wraps underneath his arm. So I'm here, he goes to clinch. Pop, pop. Here. Just a quick duck. As he's trying to set this up, he's trying to clinch. Here. Now, once we're here, a couple options. One, clinch. Two. Oh, my favorite. Or you can break out. So he goes to clinch me out here. Oh. No. Huh? In MMA? Yeah. Now, I would take him down to finish it, but yes, you can lock, you can set this up here and start working the table. Now, for our kickboxing, you gotta be careful about how you sweep there, but you can't sweep as well. But we're here, all we're waiting on is him to grab, boom. I don't care which side it is, I pull that head to the side, pop his elbow up, duck underneath. Once you're here, pull him tight. Put him a bunch, Tiger will step in and stop you in a second. Break and you'll be fine. Tiger doesn't like when you start to take a back. I could have known the right. <laughs> Tiger. Next time. So, we're here. He clinches me up. Boom. Up. Here. 
hit a couple quick strikes. Get out. Questions on me. Doesn't matter if Rell's southpaw. He's still going to clinch me. So I'm going to pull that head to the side. Pop his elbow just out a little bit. Just, and I'm not dropping down to a knee like I'm hitting a wrestling shot. I'm literally just getting my, my forehead to the bottom of the knee. Here. Here. And I'm tucking my head on that shoulder blade here. So that I don't get hit with like a back elbow fist idea. Here. Tucking that head. Depending on your rule set, you can finish a variety of ways there. But the goal is, he's establishing that clinch. Here. I don't, I'm not accepting that we're getting out of it. Make sense? One, two, three. Ro goes to clinch me up. Boom. I don't like any of that that's happening. As soon as he goes to clinch up, I'm just going to drop my hips. Bye, bye. Please. Not doing this. You want clinch? Fine. <laughs> MMA, I'm taking you down from there. Kickboxing? Fuck it. Never break us up. <laughs> We're not, I'm not going to let you get a bunch of free shit. <laughs> He's here. He goes to clinch me up. All you're doing, changing that level just that little bit. So here... His elbows are in my way of this body. All we're doing, dropping our hip to hip, walking our hips in. Lead with your dick. I don't know a fucking better way to describe it. <laughs> like, lead with your dick. <laughs> like, sorry. What it is. What I got. <laughs> Won't ever forget it. <laughs> Boom. He clinches me up. Boom. I change my level. Bop. Walk my hips in. Here's the reason why. As I'm coming in there, even if he's trying to throw a knee here, he doesn't have anything. So I start coming here. I have better knees than he does from that body block. In the bank, I break I backbreaker. You're, you're done. We're going Once to the ground. Down. Congrats. Well, <laughs> kick, kickboxing. I'm going to start jacking you up and start looking for those cheap knees. Or I'm going to do my heel strikes. Boom. Here. So is that legal in kickboxing? Mm -hmm. You cannot wrap and try to trip with it. Especially if you're in a corner or something like that. Especially, I like to do it when people have me pressed against a wall or in a corner. Because if you have me pressed up and I have something I can lean back into, it's real nice. But when I'm there, all I'm doing is not accepting the clinch. That's, if you're looking for today's theme, don't accept the clinch. I don't care how you get out of it, as long as your head doesn't go down. Hey, stop that. We're getting out of there. Duck under a little bit. Body lock through them. We're not accepting the clinch unless we want to be there. Does that make sense? So we're here. Girl punches me up. I don't like that. Boom. I can't back I, If I'm kickboxing like you two, I'm going to go elbows wide. Here. Start looking for other stuff. That's the goal there is don't accept the clinch. They're clinching you. No one's ever clinched someone and be like, man, bro, I have really kind things I'm going to do to you in the clinch. <laughs> I'm coming into, if I've ever clinched you, bad shit starts happening to you real quick. Real quick. That's always my goal. If I clinch you up, it's because I'm hurting you. Look at my kickbox. Second we started clinching, bad shit started yeah, happening. Real quick. <laughs> So that's what you have to look for is they're coming in to clinch you. It's not not to be polite. At their best case scenario of what they're looking for is to tie up and breathe for a minute. If they're trying to do that, oh, I'm pushing. Yeah, now, now you've shown that little chink in the arm. Now we press there. Make sense? One, two, three. 